guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're back here with Pokemon Tempest with episode 6. So, last time not a lot, a lot happened considering. But now we're on our way through the forest and got a coconut for some reason. Eh. Anyway, so we got another gem, aka Gym 2, and the regional variants. That's not be fun. So, without well, further ado, let's get back to our Slibian journey. Be sure to like Scott for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. And just for a bit. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Back to the journey. Pokemon Toby, Masters, hey. Frank and Toby here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Tempest. I just want to say, I hope you're all thoroughly enjoying your journey around the region of Solympia so far. Oh, you're running into your rival, your first gym coin collected, and of course, the Pokemon you've caught on your team. I hope it's all bringing you a lot of joy to watch. Mm -hmm. In today's episode, you are traveling off to the Elderwoods <laughs> Forest, a very sacred place in the Solympia region. Speaking and the much. region is filled with unusual Pokemon that you wouldn't see anywhere else in the world. Do that last and that's time. true especially for <laughs> the Elderwoods. The oh, Elderwood Forest right. is simply Ooh. more like a jungle, taking up a large portion of the island. In fact, it's so big, it's divided into two sections. There's the part of this forest that you're in now, and before leaving, Professor Dodona will have mentioned to you that there's a little village that's said to be within these woods on your way to Atheron City. Hmm. The second part of the Elderwoods is the Deep Elderwoods, which seems to only be accessible by a river that runs through the forest to the sea. It seems oh, likely that the journey will bring you back here later. For now, though, focus up. All right, New let's check this for and there's a lot of them. Ooh, what do you got? Wow. This Pokemon huh. is Merion, the fake Marion. child Pokemon. Researchers hmm. know this Pokemon is born in yeah, forests, but one. no one has ever seen one hatch in the wild. Often their laughs are said to resemble the chatter of children. Creepy. Yep. This Pokemon I mean, is a the dark type. Dark it's type. not ghost. If you didn't choose a grass ghost starter, here. <laughs> this will make for an excellent addition to the team, but it's not the Thank only you. Pokemon lurking in these woods. Ooh. Next up, we have a new oh, bug Pokemon. Uh, this bug type is called Salivite, the salivating Pokemon, what? and it's an unusual Pokemon said to exceed what evolution should be capable Wait, of. They say 90% of its biology resides within its head, with the rest uh, of its body being a sorry, sort of exoskeleton. It's said to be incredibly hmm. fast, and it's always zipping around the forest, jumping in and out get of an trees. Extra. It hangs yeah. upside down and uses one. its tongue to navigate around the barbs of Barbug I'll as get it the on them. If you catch one, I'm sure we'll find out why it is the Pokemon that is able to exceed evolution. And of course, there are other Pokemon that you're familiar with in the forest. Both Barbug and its evolution Hip Hopper can be found here in the wild, as well as Slackoth and Pikachu. And naturally, this forest is also home to Wild Tangela that also roam the woodlands. But they might not be immediately noticeable. And as you enter the Elderwoods Forest, I'd strongly recommend that you check behind every bush, in every blade of long grass, and of course, on every what tree. Mean? Look, this tree is turning around and what? talking to you. And I oh, think okay, he found the- uh, I think hi. that's my hair you're tangled up in. I'm not a sorry, Pokemon, sorry, but sorry, I wish sorry. I was. Isn't this forest beautiful? I don't I know if you narrator. noticed on your way here, but there are empty areas where trees are being cut down. I believe they call it deforestation. It seems sad, the homes of Pokemon being destroyed just for new homes uh. to be built. You see, the tempests mean that people who are just visitors are stuck on the island with nowhere to go, and over the years the forest has gotten smaller and smaller to accommodate. Then again, mm. I am a human, and I live here in the Elderwoods. My family has lived here for generations in the Elderwood village, so how are we any different? To live in harmony, not Just because we've been harmony. here for a long time. All I know is that if I wish to call these woods my home, I must do them and the Forest Guardian proud. Wait, oh, excuse guardian? me, I huh? forgot you were standing there. Yeah, I got hi. carried away. Would you like to see my village? I should uh, show you yeah, the way. Fair Come enough. On, don't just stand there. Follow me. Oh, oh thanks. Okay. She seems well, nice, we got a guide. Uh, don't let her, yeah, out of your sight. Oh, her green God hair blends in with the forest. You saw her head oh, in the direction of the bridge that crosses the river, but she's totally gone now. You might as well head over that way. As you explore yeah, the fast. Elderwoods, you feel a sense of aliveness about the forest. You weren't mm. expecting people to be here, so now you have the feeling that you're kind of always being watched. In front of you, there is a bridge crossing over some water that seems to leave the forest completely and runs out to the sea. 
Suddenly, as you cross the bridge, you notice movement in huh? the water and catch what? a glimpse so, at the very first Sarah. ever Solympian regional variant. Raising its head out of the water amongst the grasses and mosses of the I'm river sure I can tell is the Lapras. water grass type Solympian Lapras. This Lapras swims in a that? much warmer body of water, so it doesn't have a hard shell like I'm its counterparts so across the world. It doesn't need to stay warm that way. Instead, it's covered with plant life and uses photosynthesis to keep itself going. And alongside so its regular cool. water moves, it'll lose a lot of its ice type moves, but instead has access to things like Vine Whip and Energy Ball. But you actually can't get down to it right now. It's Aww. impossible for you to catch as it's in the river down below the bridge where you are and you don't have access to that river. This Aww. might be a Pokemon you have to encounter properly later on in your journey. Still, that it's a sucks. promise of regional variation and things to come. As you stand on the bridge and look upstream deeper into the forest, you notice a small shrine on a little island in the middle of the hmm? forest. It's a simple design made of stone and covered in moss. Hmm. And as you stare at it, the Lapras begin to duck their heads under the water eh? and swim away. Why are they leaving? Huh? What? what was that? A wind rushes through the forest. Leaves and forestation begin uh, to swirl around wait, you. Huh? They lift into the air and begin to take shape across the bridge. A face what? of the stone and wood stares at you, being held what up by that? nothing but the wind. What is this? A Pokemon? Is that a Titan? What is that thing? Guyonis, is that really you? Wait, hold it. Guyonis. Hmm? Oh no, don't go. Huh? No, it's gone. But it was here. You saw it, didn't you? Oh, obvious. Yeah. What was that? Guyonis, a legendary Pokemon, one of the primordial spirits. They live here on the oh, island. Okay, okay. They're protectors. Mm. That's what my grandmother taught me. This forest, perhaps all the forests of the world exist because Guyonis carried seeds on its wind and scattered them across the earth. How oh, amazing. I see it so rarely. Why today? Who are you? A champion. champion, huh? I'm pretty sure there's only one champion on this island, and you're much shorter than he is. <laughs> Me? Wow. Oh my, we've been talking all this time, and I haven't even told you my name. I'm Clara, the gym Clara. leader of the Elderwood Village. Speaking oh, of which, yeah. you must be getting tired. Let me show you to my home. I'll walk a bit slower this time, I Police. promise. Please, please don't leave me behind again. Thank you. So you're a champion from another mm -hmm. region, you say? Of course, yeah. I keep forgetting the Tempest is over. For us in the Elderwoods, we exist away from outsiders. If you think of Solympia as the eye of the storm, then the Elderwoods is the eye of the eye of the storm, or something like that. No, that's not right. The pupil yeah, it's okay, of the it's eye okay. of the storm. Yeah, that's better. So thank you for catching me up. Here in this it's village, we have everything we need. Fresh water, we farm our own food. The few families that live here live a calm life, at one with the Pokemon around us. We give thanks to Guyonis and take care of the travelers passing through, but we really have no interest in the outside world, <laughs> Tempest or not. Hey. Uh, what about a battle? A gym battle? Of course. I haven't kept up to date with the Pokemon League situation as such, but I still have a draw filled with League coins to give out. I gave one out just this week, actually. I'll happily battle you. There's no time like the present, so how <laughs> about right now? Let's do it! Alright, let's get okay, it. Okay then, get ready to face off against my little village helpers. Go, Tangler! Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so very oh. clearly this is a grass type gym and you're just doing this now. Gora is a peculiar gym What's leader that? to be sure, but she seems enthusiastic enough. In fact, you should probably send something out to counter her Tangler. If you chose Ember or Kingfisher as a starter, your Brazian or Heronin should both be able to have super effective moves here. Either that or um, any of the regional birds or bugs will give you a nice advantage. Yeah. Let's well, still have the Hound Hour too as a backup. Those are some good moves, but you've never seen a Pokemon like this before. Go, oh. Vigoroth! And here Vig comes oh, a grass whoa. normal type Vigoroth. And this is a huh. Solympian Vigoroth that live deep in tropical forests and jungles. They're said to be as lazy as their pre evolution, with a slower pace of living that hey. means that they've evolved to be calmer than their regional counterparts. With some moves like Grassy Glide and Leaf Blade ready to hit hard for some big grass damage. <laughs> Kick some grass, Vigoroth. <laughs> wow, very impressive. But have you seen this Pokemon? Go, Togetic! Togetic? What? Another regional variant. And wow, huh. look at this. This Togetic Dang. wears a coconut instead of an eggshell. 
Wait a is minute. it possible coconut. that the coconut you got given earlier by that stranger could hatch into a regional togepi? Very cool. Uh, they say the eggs down, of this token will only appear before kind-hearted people, so I'm glad that I get to train one. Use Leaf Storm! Keep it up! Yes! <gasps> My token take! Very good! Good battle, though! Very impressive. You really must be a champion. You did it! You Woo! won! Well, there you have it. You beat me. And if I remember the tradition correctly, that only means one thing. I have to award you with the coin of the Elderwood Gym. Thank you. Keep it close as proof you've beaten me. I'm sure our champion will be very impressed. In fact, if you head north through the Elderwood, you'll be on the road to Atherin City, the largest oh, yeah, city in the region. On my way there. The champion can sometimes be found studying at the Citadel or battling at the Procropolis. I'm sure he'd love to meet you. Of course, you're welcome to stay the night here too. That'd and there great. you have it. An interesting time wandering through the woods. Still, I hope you had a good time. This is merely a pit stop on your big region-wide journey, and now at least you have as many coins as Cass. Huh? But what's this? Oh. Hey, I think I was right. Look at me. Hello, uh, it's like Laura said, for those who want to keep it in your party, the coconut did in fact turn out to be an egg for a Solympian form of Aww. Togepi, a grass fairy That's cool. Pokemon. That's cute. According to your Pokedex, if a coconut falls out of a tree and lands on your head and Ow. you don't feel any pain, hmm. it's the egg of a Togepi. Amazing. Aww. This is just one more Pokemon you can add to your team. And it won't be the last regional variant, for Ooh. new regional forms and Pokemon await in the next episode <laughs> of Pokemon Tempest. Well, that was a fun day. I mean, we got many new Pokemon, and I think we got about Marion, Salavite, saw the Lapras, but can't get them yet. The figure off, and we got Togepi. Nice. Not to mention, second gym battle. Or gym coins. Eight. Well, at least we're catching up the cast now. Hopefully. That's where she. Well, should be able to catch her up with the third gym, so. Anyway, we'll be heading out of the forest next time. Till then, thanks for watching, everybody. Later.